Well, uh, it's your girl Tiffany, Madam Luscious Black Beauty, your poetic psychic Pisces, high thesis, aka the light that shines like eight diamonds, also known as your modern day nun, one who isn't within a colon, a convent, or a covenant. I do thank you all for listening and for watching on today. If you would be so kind to like, share, and subscribe, it would be greatly, greatly appreciated. Um, this is going to be a general reading for the overall collective of any zodiac sign. Please remember that these messages may apply to your past, your presence, or your future. So take the messages that apply, leave the ones that do not. And without any further ado, we are going to get into today's messages. Okay, guys. So we have the overall energy here of the world wants to be written okay so uh, you could be a writer okay you could be someone who enjoys writing maybe you've been thinking about writing a book okay um you see her crown chakra is very much illuminated here okay her third eye is illuminated okay there's a lot of illumination that's going on all around her okay she has her eyes closed in this meditative state okay she's gone deep within she is thinking there's like so much to write about here this is number 42 so it goes into a six year um maybe you have a passion a desire for writing you enjoy writing you love writing um it is part of your destiny it's part of your calling okay um i definitely feel like that there are some things that you can write about just about anything that you want to write about okay but i feel like there are there is a story that is within you okay that needs to be told um and shared with the world okay um, someone could be writing their life story. Um, you could just be the type of writer that writes about various different things um, that piques your interest in the world. Either way, it goes. I feel like Spirit is telling you that writing is your passion. Writing is what you should be doing, what you should be embarking upon, what you should be um, investing yourself into, okay? Because the world wants to be written. There's just so many things to write about. Um, it, it's always interesting to me when people say that they have writer's block because, like, I get downloads of <laughs> things on a daily basis just to, to write about. It, I mean, things randomly come off the top of the dome. Um, there's so much truth all around us in plain sight that's worthy of writing about that you haven't seen on the TV, you haven't seen in the movies, you haven't seen in a magazine or a book yet, and it needs to be written, okay? Not to mention, um, you know, many of our lives, um, it, it, like, like, I'm telling you, many of our life, like my life, what I have endured, what I have been through would be a bestseller, okay? <clears throat> but, and, and many of you could feel that way as well, okay? It needs to be written, okay? Write it, get it copywritten, um, do what you need to do to have it published, invest in yourself, see how much this, that, and the other is going to be, okay? Try to do things independently if you can, okay? Because you'll have those vultures. If you're really good at what you do, you'll have those vultures that are coming along and, you know, want to try to take what is rightfully yours and then nickel and dime you for something that you created. So, you know, you want to be very careful about that, but do not embark upon your passions, um, your life purpose, your goals, just because you have these opportunists and these copycats and these vultures out here, okay? Because spirit is definitely telling you that there is something share worthy, that there is a book in you, and you need to write it, okay? Because the world wants to be written, okay? So the first clarifier we have here is high honor, okay? I feel like you really embracing your your this creative endeavor of yours okay this passion that you have 
for writing, you will step into a position of high honor, okay? I feel like you have already written something, though. You've already done some type of work that people have heard, that people have seen, and they actually like it a lot, okay? You probably didn't get an applause at the time. You know, nobody patted you on the back. Nobody, you know... Um, told you good job great work you know keep up the good work nobody said anything at the time but you you know sure as i'm sitting here talking to you today somebody has seen it somebody has heard it somebody likes it it piqued somebody's interest it gave somebody else an idea um and I, I, I feel like so, uh, you could be getting some type of contact um, about, you could be receiving some type of certificate or reward or, um, I don't know, scholarship or something, something that's going to put you in high honor for your hard work here, okay? And it has to do with your occupation, okay? I feel like... Um, this is something that you do as a hobby. I don't feel like it's it's your job to do. Somebody may be um, proposing something to you that maybe this should be your job. Maybe you should do, you know, write full time, okay? Because you could be just that good at it, okay? But I feel like it is a ho occupation for you, even though you're only doing it in a, as a hobby right now. But is that important to you that you put that much effort into it, that you're really focused on it like it is a job? You see this woman sewing here? She may be sewing a dress for her own personal self, you know, just sewing a blouse or a dress or, um, uh, you know, creating some type of chandelier, you know, some type of uh, curtain or something personal for herself to go in her house, okay? So she's doing something like a hobby here, but it's really an occupation. This is an occupation that other people have that they make a lot of money off of, and um, you could too, okay? Because I feel like somebody is good enough to to really make a lot of money from what you can do. How do I know this? Because when I clarify high honor and this toll and labor here, which talks about hard work, we have fortune here, okay? So something you have written, something you have done is going to bring in great fortune for you. Or if you have not embarked upon this 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 career um, yet, if you have not tapped into this, this creative side of you, this artistic side of you, I'm telling you, it could bring you high honor and a lot of finances, money, and resources. So when I clarify occupation, and toll and labor, which talks about the hard work that you put into the work you do. We have gift here. You have a gift. Somebody wants to gift you with something because of your hard work. Um, uh, somebody may want to buy a story from you or buy your story or something like that. So I feel like I feel like it's um, it's two things. I feel like you have a gift of writing as well as somebody who has seen your writings wants to gift you with something okay um or even buy something from you like a story or um something that you have written that is yours okay and once again at the bottom of the deck here we have gift you have a gift and I feel like you have been sharing this gift onto the world. You could be a main female here. Yeah, you have been a service to others. You have been freely sharing your gift to the world. You may have a, uh, a public platform, okay, like social media or something like that. Um, but you have um, been sharing your gift, okay? You see this person with their hand out. Okay, you have been giving your gift, sharing your gift with other people. You see this person on here who is uh, a serviceman or a service woman. He has his hand out. You have been giving your gift um, and sharing your gift onto the world. And people have seen this. People have noticed this, whether they have told you or not, whether anybody has contacted you about this or not. They have definitely heard this. They have definitely seen this, okay? And it has piqued people's interest. I feel like you have given, um, you know, sparked something in others, giving other people ideas, okay? Or even just someone saying that, man, that's a good story, okay? Um, you know, maybe we should give her a, a certificate, a reward for this, or say, good job, or maybe we could give her a gift for this, or maybe we can buy this story off of her, or whatever, you know. Um, 
which I think is something that should be embraced more. I, I talked about this briefly in one of my business proposals is the one thing about the industry and especially, you know, when it comes to entertainment that not everybody seeks to be rich and famous, okay? But there are billions of people in the world. And there's a whole lot of people who are talented, who are creative, and do very good works, okay? But not everybody seeks to be rich and famous. You know, some people are very comfortable with having a humble lifestyle, okay? Um, you know, you, you, you need to survive. You want to survive. You want to live comfortably and different things like that. But if you have a service that you you can provide to someone else that someone feels that is worthy of say buying from you okay um maybe you are in the position of doing that now of course if you do that this person may say hey i'll pay you five thousand dollars for that story um if you give it to me and you may say okay and say this is somebody in the entertainment industry well the entertainment industry they have people in the entertainment industry on all different levels so they can take that story flip it turn it into something more add something to it take something from it um put it in production and say make millions of dollars from it but if you sold it for five thousand dollars you know you were comfortable with that, okay? This person who's in the industry may take it and flip it and make millions of dollars off of it. And you can't be mad and you can't um, legally do anything because you sold it, okay? But say if you are that person who is striving after, you know, the limelight, you want to be center stage, you are all about them lights, cameras, actions, you know, paparazzi and things, okay? Um, you want fame and fortune for yourself, then honey, you know, you can do the damn thing and go all the way and um and and could be very good at what you do and perhaps become uh, very successful and you know maybe rich and famous from doing so however um that lifestyle um, every decision that you have that you decide to make um, there are pros and cons to it okay there are consequences to anything that you decide to do just like the one that I that I just told you if you sell something that you have okay say you have a service for something okay um, and it doesn't matter what you do say you make candles okay and you sell your candles okay and this person and say you buy you sell your candles for twenty dollars a pop okay and say a person buy five of your candles okay and they take those five candles and they add them to something else they have and say um or maybe they take your candles and add it to say a gift basket that they have created with other things and they sell that gift basket for a hundred dollars okay well they paid for for your service they paid for what you had okay so then if you find out about the gift baskets and see your product in there that they bought from you you know what i'm saying um you could be on that level okay but say you um something like this okay and and you want to go all the way you want to have your own company your own business of your candles okay of course that's going to bring you a higher revenue a bigger revenue a uh, uh, um an actual position title role with um you know and you're you're the president of a company a ceo of company you know or whatever which will bring in more wealth so it depends on the level that you are on and what you want to do in your life you should never feel forced or pressured by anyone to do something okay um because like i said not everybody is um uh, you know uh, a lot of people are creative talented and skilled have a lot of abilities okay um but not everybody is open for doing what you have to do become to become rich and famous okay there are consequences to that there's a lot of things that you have to endure that you have to go through that you have to follow other people's guidelines you have to do how uh, what they want you to do how they want you to do it when they want you to do it then they you know they want to give you a certain image you have a certain deadline for this that and the other you're working for a certain company or business or this that and the other if you are in the market for working like that it is very well possible for you but if you want to take the more humble approach of how you work how you live how you want your life then there's a way to do that as well okay 
Either way it goes, Spirit is telling you that you have a gift, okay? Your gift can bring you high honor, okay? I feel like somebody, there's something that you've already done that you've put a lot of hard work into, okay? Because you worked on this as if it was an occupation, even though you did it, you know, as a hobby, um, just as a skill that you have, okay? And somebody may, you may receive some type of high honor, great fortune for this gift that you have here okay so we have the nine of coins here okay i definitely feel like that um a large um the nine of coins talks about gain okay it talks about um achievement of uh, a goal in some time like when you when you achieve some type of goal you gain something okay now because it is coins here um it speaks of finances money resources here okay so i feel like there's a large lump sum of money or there's a lot of finances money resources that can come in for you that put in and puts you in the position of this high honor here okay um however like I said, I feel like someone it has been made aware of what it is that you can do here because we have the Two of Cups, which talks about partnership. Somebody could want to go into partnership with you, okay? Um, the Two of Cups does not always have to talk about love or always have to talk about a relationship. It also speaks to partnership, okay? You could be partnering with... Um, certain individuals um stepping into a position where you you are collaborating with other individuals um intermingling your work with others okay and that could bring you a, about a large lump sum of money because now we have the 10 of coins here okay which sits right up under fortune okay i feel like at the nine of coins here um you can make money on a humble level, pretty good, decent money on a humble level and receive some type of um, recognition of some kind for what you do, okay? But if you step into this partnership position here, you could have great fortune come in for you with this uh, 10 of pentacles here because the 10 of pentacles talk about wealth, okay? The nine of pentacles talks about gain. It talks about what you can gain, what you can earn from what you do, like selling something. You can make money from selling something. It doesn't matter what you sell. You can sell candles. You can sell t-shirts. You can sell um, uh, supplies. You can sell any type of thing and gain something for it, okay? But if you get into partnership with someone, okay, um, a business relationship with someone, you could step into this fortune here, which could bring you wealth, okay? Um, you could very well consider taking this leap of faith, okay? Um, I feel like you taking this leap of faith, uh, this will be hard work that you, you know, um, nothing worth having is, is, uh, you know, comes easy. You know what I mean? Um, but, uh, you, you will continue to work hard, um, in doing what it is that you do, what it is that you love. Okay. But, um, you may be considering taking this leap of faith. Okay. If you, um, want to have wealth in your life okay if you want to be on a level of being wealthy okay by you being a part of some type of partnership or co or collabing with other people here um there is uh you you have to take this leap of faith okay taking this leap of faith okay could bring you um this abundance this stability this security okay where you are not living paycheck to paycheck, where you are not struggling to pay your bills or having to worry about finances with the ace of coins here, okay? And this sits under gift here, okay? So um, somebody could want to gift you a large lump sum of money because of what you do, okay? Which, you know, could tap into this gain here or spirit is saying that you could very well make a lot of money from this gift that you have here and we know this is talking about your work 
okay, this gift that you have here, because now we have the Eight of Coins, okay? And the Eight of Coins um, talks about prudence, okay? The Eight of Coins talks about the money one makes from the work that they do, okay? And we have here, I feel like this is your occupation. This is what you are supposed to be doing here. We have... Um, your energy here i feel like and this energy on this card it says the therapist okay i feel like your writing is therapeutic for people and it doesn't matter what you're writing about but it's therapeutic for people okay now you could be of any zodiac sign okay but um this is a queen of cups that has come up um, next to occupation here. And on this card, is it says the therapist, okay? So I feel like you are a great listener. I feel like you are observed very well. I feel like you are someone who is mutable. You you catch on, um, you learn very fast. Um, you, you, you catch on to things very fast. Like I said, you are very um, observative um, as well. And I feel like you implement this all into your writing. Something about your writing is therapeutic unto others. Okay. Let me move this over just a minute. Guys. So the next message that we have here yeah. You, you, you give some type of art too. Okay, this is art. That's the card that we have at the bottom of this deck from the cards that I'm, I'm the extra cards that I'm putting here for you all. Okay, now um, we have here the Ace of Cups. Okay, um, you gaining finances, money, resources, stability, security. For, you know, this work that you do, you, even you stepping into this high honor here, you gaining the, this level of finances, even stepping into a partner partnership, this could bring you, a, this could bring about emotional fulfillment, okay? This will cause this, this will of fortune to turn in your favor here, okay, guys? Because you, I feel like you will be on your life, in your life purpose, okay? You will be fulfilling your destiny. I feel like for someone, this is a part of, I feel like I'm speaking to someone, you could be a prophet, okay? And you express this, many different things that I feel you express throughout your your work throughout your artistry throughout your writing here because spirit is saying that you are a star okay i feel like hopes wishes and dreams are going to come true for you okay you are going to have growth and movement forward okay i feel that like something is going to take off very passionately in a fast paced speed for you as well here yeah Something is going to happen swiftly, okay? You could be getting some type of fast communication, messages, news, information of some kind pertaining to what you do, okay? Pertaining to your work. Let's this over so we can create more room. Yes, pertaining to... um your work okay somebody is sending you some some swift communication messages news information about this work that you do okay and with the nine of cups here this is going to be a hope wish or dream come true this is the reason why you are going to feel extreme feelings overwhelming emotions about this you are going to be so shocked so surprised that you know little old you somebody actually liked something hurt something seen something that you created okay um want to thank you for it honor you for it give you for it buy it from you it doesn't even matter how it comes through but there is swift communication that's coming through about the work that you do 
And it's going to make your hopes, wishes, and dreams come true. Okay? And we have here victory, success, triumph. Okay? Public recognition of some kind. So you could be getting publicly recognized for your work, okay? You could display your, your, your artistry on a public platform as well, okay? So guys, and I, I feel like your work, you have a gift, you have a service, that you have been giving unto others, okay? I feel like when this abundance come in for you, um, you're going to feel cheerful. You're going to want to celebrate, okay? Because, because of why? Look at this card, says abundance. Your art is going to bring you abundance. And you may not have ever even known that this was possible, okay? <laughs> I feel like I'm speaking to someone who do something because you love it, okay? Like, it comes natural to you. And the crazy thing about it, I feel like you have, you've never had any formal training in what it is that you do. You just happen to be very good at what you do. Yeah, Spirit is saying that you will be very successful, Spirit wants you to know that you will be very successful in this work that you do. Okay? Yeah. Spirit wants you to know that you will be very successful because this is the career field that you are meant to be in. This is the career field that you are meant to be in. And you see here, it says, follow your dreams. Okay? You are fulfilling your goals by doing this. Okay? You could be receiving a, 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 some type of job opportunity, some type of steady work. Okay? You could be receiving some type of promotion coming in for you for your hard work here. And you see, all of those messages are on green cards, okay? So, there is definitely financial stability coming in for you, okay? No doubt about it. Yeah. You could even re be receiving some type of advancement as well. You could if you you are going to be embarking upon a new direction in your life. Okay? And for the first time in your life, you're gonna feel like um you belong. This is what you should have been doing all along. Okay. Because you're going to get some type of fresh new start. Spirit wants you to know that all is well and will be fine. Okay, because Spirit is saying that you have a bright future ahead, okay? New beginnings, no worry. Spirit wants you to follow your heart. You're going to have a fresh new start. Spirit also wants you to listen to your intuition. Okay? Listen to your intuition, follow your goals. I feel like there could have been people around you who knew that you had these talents, skills, and abilities, who tried to stop you, who tried to block you, okay? Yeah, you even have, you are so good, obviously, you know? And for the majority of us, you know, we don't run around here tooting our own horn. If we're good at something, we just do it, you know, but we don't do it in an effort to step on toes, walking around like we the biggest, baddest people in the world, like we're better than somebody else, like we know it all or something, because there's always room to grow. There's always room to learn and different things. But, on honey, obviously you good enough that you got copycats stealing your ideas. Yeah. Yeah. Copycats are stealing your ideas, okay? 
these people could have even people uh, behind the scenes working against you. They could have tried to block your intuition. Okay. Um, they could have uh, done um, spell work on you. Okay, to try to pre uh, prevent you from from succeeding in any type of way. Okay. But spirit is, is, is telling you that you will have happiness in your life. Okay, you don't need to allow these energy vampires, okay, to drain you of your energy. Spirit wants you to know that you are an earth angel. You were put here for a purpose. Okay. Yeah. I feel like a lot of abundance. Yeah. I was about to say a lot of abundance is getting ready to come in for you and then abundance is yours. Pops out. Spirit wants you to know abundance is yours, but you cannot trust everybody. Okay. You need to know that. Okay. You are definitely going to have stability in your life. Okay, where you're going to have savings, you're going to be grounded, you're going to have uh, financial security. Okay, you're going to be balanced, you're going to you're going to budget very well. Okay, because I'm speaking to someone humble. Okay, like myself, just personally, if I got rich today, I just wouldn't do what 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 uh, most people do when they come into large lump sum of money okay I, I i'm just the type of person even if i got a large lump sum of money today i i you know <laughs> i have no problem with budgeting okay like i'm not going to go out and buy um some huge ass mansion like i'm, I'm just not okay i'm not gonna go and buy uh, a fifty thousand dollar freaking watch okay i'm not gonna go and get you know it, it'd be ridiculousness i'm not gonna go and get a three hundred thousand dollar car or something like that like yeah you know i'm not i'm not gonna go and get something some hundred and fifty thousand dollar chain to put around my neck like this is what people do and i feel like it's so foolish and it's so ignorant when people come into money this is like the first things that they go and do and buy the most ridiculous things you know they go and get these mansions and then they like don't pay the taxes on it and it's stupid like i would not you know what i'm saying like true enough um i would make sure me and my daughter had us a nice home like a nice home to me would be like a five bedroom home in a gated community that's quiet clean and safe you understand what i'm saying not a freaking mansion okay that's just my humble approach okay i wouldn't give a dog on if i had a million dollars okay I would have nice furnishings in my home, but yeah, I'm, I'm not going to go and spend, you know, twenty, thirty thousand dollars $30,000 on a freaking couch. I'm just not. <laughs> it's just a couch. Like, what do you mean? Spirit wants you to protect yourself from predators. Yeah, so like, I'm, I'm, I'm not, you know, I'm not going to go out and buy furs and mink coats and things to poor animals. Like, no, I'm not going to, I'm not going to do it, whether I was rich or not. But you have a lot of people, honey, they come in some money and they do the most ridiculous things that makes no sense at all. Like, I have a very humble approach to life. Um, even if I was in a relationship with somebody who was wealthy, I would probably get on their nerves because, you know, they would be wanting to, you know, do shit that don't make sense, you know, like, <laughs> like, um, buy things that's ridiculously expensive. Like, I don't feel it necessary to go to a restaurant where, you know, it's a thousand bucks a plate and there's nothing hardly on the plate. The entree is this damn big and they got some drizzle of culinary art sauce on the plate with a little piece of freaking garnish and that plate costs a thousand freaking dollars, okay? You want a glass of wine, it's like 300 bucks a pop. You know what I'm saying? Like, what is happening right now? Like, you know, even if you have money, like, I just think some things are like totally ridiculous. It's fine to have nice things, of course you know and the more money you have the nicer things that you can have but i mean like to to ridiculously spend on 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 materialistic things that don't matter is stupid but you are definitely coming into a large lump sum of money i just hope you are the person who knows how to um 
you know, know how to spin well, okay? Um, and don't ever forget where you come from. Remember to give back. Find a, either create your own charity that help and heal other people or find a, a, a reliable, notable charity where you can give back to others, um, where you can help others, heal others, okay? The poor, the homeless, um, the sick, the ill, you know, whomever, you know, just give back to people don't forget where you come from okay when this comes in for you okay but spirit is definitely telling you that you have earned this okay you have earned this right you have earned this position or uh, uh, opportunity um you have earned this stability this security um your family even made attempts to try to harm you to keep you from having this gifted and talented just popped out okay i didn't even pull that card you are obviously someone who is gifted and talented okay somebody people have tried to harm you specifically your family because they know that you have these talents these skills and these abilities okay um these are individuals they can't go with you okay wherever you're going whatever you're doing however you're shaking and you're moving whatever you decide to do in your life okay um yeah they're not a part of the equation, okay? Because this abundance is yours, okay? You are definitely going to have gain. You're going to advance. You're going to accomplish, okay? Know what you're getting yourself into, though, okay? Know what you're getting yourself into. Know what you want to have. Don't allow. If you can't stay in control of your mind, somebody else is going to control it okay so know what you want and what you do not want okay what you are willing to tolerate and 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 um what you are not okay um and be very careful because somebody has a family out here who is just waiting um, for this abundance to come in for you. They're not supporting you. They're not uplifting you. They're not guiding you. But they're sitting back and waiting for some level of abundance to come in for you just so they can use you for money. Okay? Yeah. No, these are the same people who tried to harm you. Who made attempts to harm you to even keep you from succeeding in the first damn place. No. Mm-mm. Sorry. Sorry. It's not going to go down like that. Spirit wants you to protect your heart, protect your energy, okay? Um, and I, I keep telling you, I'm not going to stress, you know, I can't stress enough how it's important for you to, um, how it's important for you to protect yourself, okay? Um, your family's going to try to get over on you. Um, oftentimes when people come into abundance in some type of way, when people find out that somebody's very talented or skilled or have some type of ability, you get these, you know, this, this, this boatload of individuals that fall out the sky. They come all out the woodwork, run out the woods, and all of a sudden they're interested in you. Oh, they just love you so much. They just like you so much. They're so attracted to you. They want to get close to you. They want to be with you. They're in a hurry to try to marry you, and you've never had this to go on in day before in your life is a setup nine times out of ten they are ops there are agents who were sent in to try to get close to you to try to mind trick you okay just so they can get over on you in some type of way just so they can try to strip you from your wealth detour you from the path that you need to be on okay i'm not telling you not to have a love life i'm not telling you not to have a sex life okay but you need to be that person <laughs> that chick who know when to leave okay you need to be the person um it is perfectly fine for you to have your to for you to be fulfilled for you to be satisfied for you to be pleased okay get your needs met honey and go home Okay, unless you find that person that you want to, that their love is there and um, it's going to be a serious committed relationship. But if it's really true love and this person really wants to be in a serious committed relationship, they're not going to come rushing in and be in a hurry to try to get over on you, trying to woo you in a hurry so they can have access to your money. Okay, this person are really, they're not even going to care about your money. Okay, they care about you. Okay. They want to love you. They want to do for you. They, you know, it, it, it's a different feeling, okay? You're going to have friends, you know, fake phony friends that show up. People want to be your friend. They want to be your entourage. They want to be your sidekick. They want to be in your circle. People are going to pop up all of a sudden, honey. They're going to want to whine you, dine you, screw you, and, you know, the most is, okay? And we can't forget the satanic powers that be, honey, because if you're that good at what you do, these powers that be, they have an eye on any and everybody with any type of talent, skill, or ability at all. And from the moment that they rely, 
realize, okay, when you are on their radar, um, that there is something uh, sparkling special in you that they want to grab a hold of because they want your energy, they want your essence. Don't mess around and come from a good bloodline, honey. I have some good genes or something like that, okay? They'll really come in for you. You got to be careful for that as well. Hey, you could be somebody who's about that life, okay? And you down with it. You know what you got to do to get it and you with it. If you that type of person, then hey, good riddance. Um, I want for you what you want for yourself. But if you are not, I am also here to make you aware of the dangers that lie ahead um, when stepping into abundance, when stepping into um, greatness, okay? What's going to come your way, okay? Very wealthy, you could, you could meet very wealthy people in power, okay? And, 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 and you need to understand something about very wealthy people in power. Don't ever get the big head, okay? Because there's a whole lot of talented, skilled people in the world. And no matter what you're good at, honey, don't ever get to the point to think that your ass can't be replaced. Now, you may be good at what you do. That's why I told you, you got to you gotta decide what level you want to be on. Do you want to take a humble approach to what you like to do? Or are you trying to be rich and famous and on a level? Because it's one thing about rich and wealthy folks. It don't matter how they smile up in your face, honey, how good they look, how well they speak, or anything like that. If they're giving you any type of attention, any type of conversation, uh, or any type of opportunity, they see something in you that they can benefit off of. Okay, because they are in the business of, 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 of making money, of staying wealthy. Okay, so you, you, um, when they, what they are in dealings with you is because they believe that you can be an asset unto them. Okay. So know who you're dealing with, know what you're getting yourself into. Okay. And know, um what you what it is that you would really like to have in your life okay and how you want to move forward okay yeah spirit is telling you to let your wisdom guide you okay this is what i'm telling you okay i'm not trying to detour you from your life past to, to, to instill some type of fear in you but you know, it would be it would be ignorant. You know, a lot of readers will come on here and they will tell you all the good and mushy stuff. Oh, girl, I see you about to make a lot of money, girl. You about to blow up, girl. You about to come into this partnership, this position, girl. Oh, honey, you gonna be meeting some somebody wealthy gonna contact you, honey, and you gonna do this and you gonna do that, and they don't tell you about everything else. Okay, that could be possible. They blowing smoke up your ass because nine times out of ten they are a sellout. Okay, and they are being paid to mind fuck you and to mislead you, okay, and, 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 and it to purposely send you down the wrong path in life so that you make mistakes, okay? That you so that you carelessly and recklessly do things, okay, because they are working for the enemy. This is their job, okay? Okay, because we talking about individuals that they are working for are individuals who uh, uh, are in the business of stealing salt. Okay, so you want your soul to stay intact. You be very careful how you shaking and moving and what you doing. It's all I'm telling you. Okay, well, guys, that seems like that concludes this reading for today. Okay, it's gonna be a celebration, though, honey. Okay, I feel like when this abundance come in for you, it's going to be a celebratory moment. Okay, um, I feel like it's going to start off differently. For um for um different people, okay. Somebody for somebody, somebody has seen your work. Somebody's going to uh um send you some type of big donation, okay. Um because of your work. For somebody else, somebody's going to contact you about some type of business proposition or opportunity, okay. And um, maybe some type of financial advancement, okay? But that you need to be very wary of that because that would make require you to move, to relocate, to travel, to go to where they are, where you know no one, um, having to entrust, maybe living with someone else, or um, having to have the money, the, the you know, to 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 relocate, finding a place to stay, and different things like that, or whatever. Okay, so like I said, somebody is going to contact you and want to purchase your products 
or purchase whatever artistic that you do, okay? Somebody else is going to just send you some type of big donation, okay? And and tell you that they appreciate your work. They're sending you this donation because, you know, they seen your story, they seen your, you know, what your work, whatever you do, you're talented or skipped, uh, gifted at, and they want to send you a donation. For somebody else, um, you're going to get some type of swift communication that comes in for you. Somebody wants to give you some type of achievement or medal of honor or a certificate or award or something as well as money as well as uh, offer you some type of business opportunity some type of partnership opportunity okay so this is going to work out differently um for everyone okay so y'all be aware of that y'all be careful of that okay but you do have abundance coming in for you okay be very careful okay this just popped out all of a sudden this wasn't even one of the cards that came out okay remember you got people who are these copycats who are trying to steal your ideas okay so um it's fine because the way i work there's a lot of things that i do Yes, it has to do with my talent, my skill, my ability, but there's a lot of things that I do for free, okay? Um, but things, um, big projects, um, you want to make sure that you, uh, you know, get copywritten, um, you want to uh, make sure that... Um, other people are not able to uh, steal it or alter it or, you know, different things like that. Big projects, okay? Um, now, the, like I said, the way I do my work, there's some things that I give away for free. There's many things that I do that I give away for free. Um, providing the different services. And I'm just versatile, okay? So, um, I do many different things, Okay? Whether I'm writing poetry, whether I'm doing the short stories, whether I'm doing tarot readings, whether I'm doing the murder mystery um, or the uh, the missing mysteries, whether I'm doing um, the different things that I make up, like my candles and my different... I have a lot of different things that I do, okay? And depending on how spirit moves me is what I present to the world for free when I do okay but um big projects okay like don't write a autobiography um about yourself and and make it available for free okay because that would be jam-packed with a lot of information with 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 a lot of d a detail with a lot of work now if and and you know what i'm saying you don't have to make all of your work for free okay there's um a number of poems that i have that i've written that i've made available for free i've been writing since i was a little girl like way little okay um so there's a lot of things that i've written there's a lot of things i've written that nobody has ever even heard of or seen okay that's just put up and uh but some things um i've made available for free some short stories when i do my story times um i've made those available for free but these are you know they're important. It's good work, but they're little short stories, okay? That and it's something that I wanted to implement into my channel just to be versatile, just to have something because everybody is not into the same thing. And you know, you sometimes you just want to do something different, so you know, to um, bring about a different type of energy, okay? And uh, so I've done that, but on a when you're doing a big project. Okay, don't, what I'm telling you is, if you write an entire novel, okay, or something, you don't want to, you know, make that available for free, okay, and different things like that, okay, you will want to go through the measures of seeing how you can, you know, get it copyrighted and seeing how you can get it published, um, what it, you know, how much money you need to invest in yourself, and that's another thing that is very important as well investing in yourself okay so save when you need to save and little bit by little bit um figure out what costs what and this that and the other get your coins together and invest in yourself because a lot of times other people want to invest in you and so they see that you are serious enough to invest in yourself Okay, that's if you are capable of investing in yourself because there's a lot of people who are dirt poor 
and have magnificent talents, okay? That literally, probably the only way that they would make it is by the right person at the right time seeing them and feeling compelled to invest in them some type of way. But when those situations happen, that's what I was telling you. A lot of times those people end up getting stuck with individuals who are wealthy, who is going to want to control them because they have put in they have put in all the money to to bring them up to to um to make them known and popular in different things now you are working for somebody else you're doing what they have to do what they want you to do you 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 look the way they want you to look you work how they want you to work and in all these different things okay so it it then it doesn't come it's it's uh, it becomes unorganic, okay? It's not just about your work and what you are skilled at. Now you are working for somebody else because their dime, their money is on you, which means you are an asset to them, which means they are only um, invested in you in order to make money off of you, okay? And so anything that you make goes directly to them and they give you a small percentage of that, okay? You could do a work and, and, and make a million dollars, um from doing that work and they make only give you a hundred thousand okay that means that they have pocketed you know nine hundred thousand dollars of this you don't understand what i'm saying so you just got to know how to shake and move and what you want to do and what levels of, of of how you want to do you know whatever you want to do on whatever level you are trying to reach okay guys but i definitely feel that somebody has very magnificent talent skills and abilities okay this has been recognized this has been noticed by many different people spirit is saying that you are a star honey that's what you are okay and there is abundance that's coming in for you one way or the other no matter what level you want to be on okay and remember to use your own mind remember to be a free thinker and think for yourself and don't allow somebody else to tell you what you should and shouldn't be doing and how you should and shouldn't do this that and the other okay because spirit has already told you that you gifted your talent and you're going to be successful abundance is yours okay so this is your destined path okay no matter whether you decide to do something on a humble level and stay independent, you are still going to be blessed. The Most High is going to make sure that you are blessed in in, a, in 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 miraculous ways that you can't even foresee. Okay? But if you want to be on a higher level in partnership, in business with other people, that is going to be made available for you as well. And you can, you can um, accomplish even greater accomplishments. Okay? So, anyway, guys, I do thank you all for listening and for watching. Um, if you would be so kind to like, share, and subscribe, it would be greatly, greatly appreciated. For those of you who would like to contact me, you can do so at tiffanyziggler60 at gmail.com or at tiff.diamond.36 at gmail.com. If you prefer to contact me by phone, you can do so at 501-478-8035. Uh, okay. And for any persons who is feeling generous and you would like to donate to the channel, you can do so at Tiffany Ziegler 60 or sorry guys, I did that again. That is the um, email. If you would like to donate to the channel, you can do so through Cash App, guys, okay? It is dollar sign Tiff Diamond 36. Or you can donate through PayPal, which is paypal.me slash at 36 diamonds. Okay? As always, guys, take care of yourselves, take care of each other, but most of all, take care of your babies, honey. Remember, this is a wicked, wicked world that we live in. There is wickedness in high places. There is evil that is lurking around each and every corner, even in a neighborhood near you, honey. So watch your surroundings. Watch the company you keep. Watch the surroundings and the company in which your children are in as well. And considering the fact that you never know when somebody may betray you, backstab you, try to hurt you or harm you, honey, keep you some protection on you. Y'all stay awake, stay aware, stay vigilant, and stay prepared because if you stay ready, you ain't got to get ready, baby. Until the next time, peace, love, and light. Namaste. I am that I am created in the image of God.